Don't tell your mother Kiss one another Die for each other We're cool for the summer We've all by now heard of the usage of the word duff or the designated ugly fat friend. It has become part of the vernacular of today's society of young people and particularly in the cliques of teenage girls across the western world. Hell, a Hollywood movie was even made about the ter around the term. However, the very nature, that is, the usage of the term, is very offensive when we actually look at it. First off, it is usually a term to prop up someone who has insecurities and sees flaws in their own looks, and so instead of bullying another person, we'll often try to form pseudo-friendships with individuals and exploit them to make themselves look better by comparison. These individuals don't necessarily have to be homely or ugly, nor do they have to be overweight. The term, however, seems to demean and thus make others feel insecure about their looks, which can lead to dangerous practices such as binge eating, purging, leading to anorexia nervosa, bulimia nervosa, as well as to, to, as to attempts to commit suicide. Secondly, the term implies a very sexist and offensive usage by poking fun at individuals' looks. It has a level of fat shaming and body shaming to it and implies that an individual, specifically women, ought to look a certain way or portray herself in a certain way to be liked and accepted by that society. This is materialistically bourgeois and a hollow and narrow first worldist view and applies sexist stereotypes. The term is also used as part of the social construct to imply that someone looks overweight or unattractive in an attempt to prop up the person who is having insecurities themselves. These particular individuals are usually more popular, come from middle class and upper class backgrounds, and, have, and are heavily bourgeois. These people are materialistic and first worldist and often have little consideration for those around them, nor the world around them. Their only concern is building themselves and their reputation up to further future bourgeois goals. I can best compare a person who is referred to as a duff to the working class proletariat, who is often exploited and oppressed by the hegemonic power of the ruling class capitalists who use their power and wealth and have in, who have insecurities about their image in the world and use the working class as a way to reap the benefits. They keep us enslaved through wage slavery and oppress the rights of certain members of that proletariat. Donald Trump and his policy towards Latinos is a perfect example. And whenever this working class tries to deviate or resist the power and wealth of the ruling class, there is ridicule and retaliation, just like there is with po a popular girl and her duff. The working class is the duff to the ruling. The, the working class is the duff to the ruling class, and is simply being exploited as one. However, this does not mean that the working class has to remain as such. The social construct of the duff is merely beauty in the eyes of the beholder, and finding confidence in oneself to love oneself and to break free of the chains of oppression held by that ruling class. It is only through finding our own confidence to, our, to love ourselves and stand up for ourselves, the rising up to the oppressor and overthrowing the ruling class, can we shed our duff image and come into our own. I'm NorCal Nick, leader of the revolutionist movement, and this has been NorCal Corner. Peace.